chose this photograph because I'd like to talk a little bit about what a selection on the ramp at Auschwitz would look like. This particular photograph was taken in May of 1944. Uh, it shows the Jews of the Transcarpathian Rus, uh, which is part of uh, Hungarian territory at that time. Uh, they're arriving rather late to Auschwitz. The Hungarian Jews had been protected for a long time uh, and at last were deported with the help of the Germans in the late spring and early summer of 1944. And this particular photograph was taken uh, as part of an album of photographs at Auschwitz that shows the actual process of the killing up to the point of the gas chamber. Those kind of photos are very rare. Usually uh, it was forbidden to take photographs within the killing centers. And so this is a bird's eye view, if you will, of this particular um, site. Um, I want you to focus on the physician there in his white coat in the middle of the photograph. Uh, doctors at Auschwitz performed routinely these selections at the ramp. They were very chaotic. Um, these individuals, separated by gender, run in ranks of five past the physician. And he's making, in all these cases, these are men, there are about 30 physicians at Auschwitz who perform ramp duty on rotation. And they decide very quickly, as these individuals run past them in ranks of five, who's going to live and who's going to die. Uh, and I think what's so interesting about this is that the doctor with his white coat, he's not examining these individuals. He's barely looking at them. He barely sees them. And yet, it medicalizes the process, not only for the victims, but for the perpetrators as well. <laughs> ¶¶